Assalamualaikum and a very good day to judges and viewers. I'm Tuan 90073 Nur Akilah binti Osman from Department of Civil Engineering University Pertahanan Nasional Malaysia. The presented poster is about my final year project, sediment yield estimation using GIS application in UPNM catchment. I will explain more detail about this project. The studies of reservoir sedimentation, river morphology, soil and water conservation planning, water quality modeling, and the design of effective erosion control structures are required to estimate of sediment production. The entire process of soil erosion caused by rainfall and runoff may be represented as a detachment that is transported by raindrops and runoff where soil particles from the soil surface are then transported as sediment. This represents the entirety of the process as you can see in the video below. Sediment year is the quantity of sediment load that will flow through a catchment area exit point or outlet that will give impact on surrounding water bodies. By analyzing the viewpoint of the rate of soil erosion occurring within that catchment, it is possible to obtain information about occurrence of sediment yield in that area. Surface soil erosion is a major environmental issue because sediment yield production affects nearby water bodies. This problem leads to the increasing chances of floods, the capacity of the reservoirs, development of algal plumes, and inadequate drainage. UPNM is currently facing this problem. Deforestation and land exploitation during UPNM development encourage soil erosion and sediment inflow into waterways. This might lead to flash flood during heavy rain, as you can see the picture, flash flood that happened in UPNM. The main objective of this study is to compute the surface soil erosion and sediment yield by integrating the GIS with ARSEL and sediment delivery ratio and also to identify the annual spatial surface soil erosion and sediment yield in UPNM catchment. The study area as mentioned before is located at University Pertahanan Nasional Malaysia UPNM in Kem Padana Sungai Besi, Kuala Lumpur and its coordinates is 3.052 degree north and 101.72849 degree east. The catchment area of the watershed is about 268.70 hectare which includes two streams and one outlet point. This study area is rapidly developing along the surrounding area since it is located near to the capital city. This figure shows the digital elevation model of the UPNM catchment area with its streams pattern and the outlet of the catchment. There is only one rainfall station located in the study area. According to the DEM, the slope and elevation of the area reach up to 200 meters and the lowest elevation is 41 meters. The methodology is carried out by providing a database of the parameters of the universal soil loss equation method to be combined to determine the soil erosion in the catchment area. The layer parameter of our model is rainfall erosivity, slope length and steepness, land cover management, support practice, and soil erodibility. Based on the flowchart, rainfall erosivity factor was obtained from rainfall data. Slope length and stiffness factor was obtained from DAM. Cover management factor was obtained from Landsat Image USGS database. Support practice factor was obtained from Reclass DTEM. And soil erodibility was obtained from Department of Irrigation and Drainage Malaysia. Each layer of ASA parameter must be in raster format to be multiplied in raster calculator. The soil erosion map will be multiplied with sediment delivery ratio, which the equation is SDR equal to 0.42 times with area the power of negative 0.125. Then sediment yield can be calculated using the SDR. Sediment yield equal to SDR times annual soil erosion. As shown is the spatial distribution map of each parameter of ASEM method. R factor, LS factor, K factor, P factor, and C factor. All of this mapping will be multiplied and layered to get a soil erosion map. For this project, the determined soil loss spatial distribution was from two different years, which is 2016 and 2021. The spatial distribution of annual soil loss from 2016 shown the range from 0 to 1.74177 tons per hectare per year. The northeast area on the map has the highest soil erosion potential since the slope angle and steepness is high at that area. Most of the area, which is green in color, have the lowest slope angle which less likely to happen soil erosion on the map. In 2021, the soil loss is ranged from 0 to 1.14178 tons per hectare per year. There is no major difference in the potential soil erosion area. Only the value of soil loss is different. The soil loss decrease can be concluded because of the rainfall erosivity in this year is less than in the year 2016. The value of soil loss multiplied by the sediment delivery ratio for the UPNM catchment leads to the calculation of sediment yield. The spatial distribution of sediment yield that occurred in 2016 and 2021 is shown in difficult. According to the map of sediment yield 2016, the blue area has the highest value in sediment yield which come 
in at 0.413852 tonne per hectare per year. This demonstrates that a portion of the watershed is experiencing a severe state of soil erosion. The part of the map with the light blue shades represent an area that contains a middle range of sediment yield. The red section, which is also the largest area in the catchment, has a lower sediment yield than the other part of the catchment. UPN M catchment contribute about 0.272588 tonne per hectare per year of sediment yield to UPN M water body in 2021. It is slightly lower than the value of sediment yield in 2016. Heavy rainfall in 2016 can be the reason why sediment yield in 2016 is higher than 2021. The discussion on this project is the computed soil loss value for 2016 and 2021 were 1.74177 tonne per hectare per year and 1.14178 tonne per hectare per year respectively. Soil loss in 2016 is less than 2021 can be concluded because of the rainfall erosivity in 2021 is less than in the year 2016. Heavy rainfall land cover soil textures, thickness of soil and rank of slope and support practice implement in such catchment are the causes of the changing value of soil erosion. Various studies have shown that catchment soil loss rates are more susceptible to water runoff. After soil loss multiplied with sediment delivery ratio, the result shown 2016 has the highest value of sediment yield than 2021. The highest value of sediment yield for 2021 is 0 0.13852 tonne per hectare per year. UPN M catchment contribute about 0 0.272588 tonne per hectare per year of sediment yield to UPN M or the body in 2021. The rainfall erosivity parameters have a significant impact on the potential for soil erosion and the amount of sediment that is produced in the UPN M catchment. The presence of sediments in such large quantity is going to have a significant effect on the surrounding environment. In conclusion, ASIL assists in evaluating soil erosion and sediment yield in various catchment areas. It is also helps decision maker and land manager identify critical sites for mitigation and target intervention. That's all from me. Thank you.